And have you ever wondered which cryptocurrency is the most active? Is it the one with the highest market cap or the one with the most network activity? Let's take a look at the latest data to see which one comes out on top. Uh, a recent study by End of the Block showed that the number of active addresses on Litecoin was 357,260 on the 31st of May. On the other hand, the number of active addresses on Cardano was an eyesore as data showed that it was only 28,630. This means that activity on Litecoin was 12 times that of Cardano. Well, this might not happen all the time. Uh, a rising activity could foreshadow a higher price for a cryptocurrency. Um, therefore, it's important to keep an eye on network activity when evaluating the health of a blockchain. However, not all metrics are created equal. Let's take a look at another important metric, development activity. As of this writing, data from Santiment showed that the project's development activity fell to 55, 57. This metric reveals how committed developers are to ensuring the proper function of a blockchain. As such, the decline implied that code commits to Cardano's with network health had dropped. So which cryptocurrency is more valuable? Let's take a look at the NVRV ratio, which measures profitability and the valuation of a cryptocurrency. At press time, Cardano's 30-day NVRV frequency ratio was minus 4.932% which meant that a lot of ADA holders were dealing with unrealized losses. On the other hand, Litecoin's ratio was 12.38%, which implied that the average team LTC holder 30-day window was in profit. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.